Sage Wanderer here, so I think I saved a baby's life tonight. Um, it was about 8.30, and I just laid um, little man down, and he was asleep. When a noise hit my back door that caused my bulldog to go uh, in full attack mode, and I heard the voice on the other side of the door say, the baby's not breathing. You know, Jazzy lives with her mom and dad next door and little man stays with me most of the time in my place. And so before I could even get to the door, I leave it unlocked when I'm not, you know, unless I'm gone. And they were through the door, baby in hand, and she was turning blue and not breathing and stiff as a board, <clears throat> not conscious. And, um, I mean, to be a hundred percent honest, uh, I felt like they handed me a dead baby and, um, all I can say is I watched a video 30 years ago, nearly at a child, uh, child, what do they call it? Child care class, Lama's class a childbirth class at the, before the birth of my first son and uh, my first child rather and um, that video just popped in my head I just immediately knew what to do all I can say is it played in my head at full in full motion video in full color and it was the section on infant CPR it was um, you know a SID video and I watched it 30 years ago and now in this moment when they didn't know what to do and they're calling 911 and I have this baby that's not breathing and I immediately start performing CPR on her. As soon as I put my mouth on her mouth, I saw that she had um, white, a white ooze coming out of the corner of her mouth and kind of in her mouth. And when I went to perform CPR, CPR on her, I could taste it and it was sweet like milk. It wasn't, it wasn't like phlegm or anything. <clears throat> and so I gave her three little puffs and then I gave her three little, very gentle compressions, try to get her chest moving up and down. And she was still wasn't breathing. <clears throat> but when I gave her the three little breaths and the chest compression, this thick white paste like uh elmer's glue started coming out of her nose and it was filling her mouth and i yelled for him to for the her mom to get the suction the little suction cup and um she got in there and suctioned her her mouth out and her nose and we was getting so much of this goo out and she was still struggling to breath, breathe so i gave her three more puffs and I picked her up, put her over my shoulder and patted her back and some more came up. And But she still wasn't really conscious. She wasn't crying. But after the second set of what they call rescue breaths, um, she started making little gurgling noises and little crying sounds that weren't full-blown cries but whimpers. And I knew that was a good sign. That meant she was getting air. And for as far out as I live, the first responders got there quick and all I can think of is that they were volunteer firemen that lived nearby because within 10 minutes of the initial phone call um, the the uh, firemen were there first and then the ambulance about another five minutes later and they took her in the ambulance and they um, decided to take her by then she the color was returning to her and she was get it, breathing well I know now after hearing from uh, her mother, that um, that her oxygen levels in the ambulance was like 94 or 95, which is excellent, especially in the circumstances. <clears throat> so all I can think of is that she vomited and then aspirated it, and mom caught it quick. She was just starting to, I mean, she was kind of, the baby was gray when they handed her to me. And she's starting to get blue right around the base of her neck. But as soon as I got that airway cleared, the color started coming back. I think if it hadn't been so terrifying and if we hadn't already... Because, I mean, 
I'm working off of a 30 year video, so I'm on the phone with the with the 911 going, is there something else I can do? And they were trying to get me to determine whether she was breathing or not, and it was hard for me to tell that I could hear her crying a little bit, not the full blown cry. I wanted, I wished I could hear that full blown, just born angry cry, you know, but um, at any rate, her mom and her went to the went uh, with the ambulance. And I made sure little man was settled with his dad. And you might wonder why, you know, we left the dad behind. But it was the best place for him because he can handle little man. And they kind of need me to needed me to interpret, you know, for the mother. If you know what I mean, you've seen other videos. You know that she has communication issues. And so I... Um, I told my story and basically I got a pat on the back from the doctors. They said I did everything right. And, you know, by the time I got to the emergency room and uh, behind the ambulance and got into the room where they were at, the baby was pink and just basically acting hungry. And her main thing right now is that she's, and she let out a full blown cry and I, it, I recognized it. It was the feed me now cry. So she's hungry again already. So all those are really good signs, but of course, this is children's, you know, medical center. So they're doing chest x-rays and blood work, and they're concerned that she might have had a seizure and that might have caused her to stop breathing. But um, honestly, I think she just choked. I think she regurgitated and it clogged her airway. and It was like a thick white paste. And um, like I said, it was... It, it was milk and um but yeah they're a little bit concerned but i think everything's gonna be okay i mean she seems perfectly fine now but for about a minute there the baby wasn't breathing and uh i mean i could hear the voices of the parents basically saying she was she died she's dying she's dead and she came right back, right? I don't <clears throat> I don't know that she actually died. She just wasn't breathing. And um, it could have been a disaster. And it just amazes me that that video I watched one time 30 years ago just was in full motion play right down to, you know, one of the mistakes people make when they give breaths to infants is they breathe too hard they can damage their lungs they can really hurt them and right as I was about to put my lips down there I remembered that the video said that a baby's lung is the size of a finger of the glove of a latex glove that they're that, that that's how much air is in a baby's lung and so I just gave these tiny little low pressure breaths and uh, it cleared her airway and got her breathing again like I said I think I saved her life Continue to pray for us because I do feel like this was a demonic attack. And, um, yeah, just hoping we can wrap this up and get her home and everything's okay. All right, I just wanted to share that story with you.